Hi, I'm Kiva Dave and welcome to the Treehouse. Today we're going to look at this cool creature, the giant burrowing cockroach. I know most people are quite scared of cockroaches, but with this guy there's nothing to be scared of because these are actually a good cockroach. The thing that makes them a good cockroach is that they only like to live in the bush. They don't like to eat rubbish or live in rubbish. The only thing that these like to eat is dead leaves. So they're eating all the leaf litter. They're turning that leaf litter back into soil. So they're doing a great job because they're composting, mulching and recycling. There are about 4,000 types of cockroach in the world and only five of them are considered pests. All the rest, they're living in the bush, doing a great job keeping our bush nice and healthy for us and for all the other animals. The burrowing roach is the largest cockroach in the world and it does live all the way up the top of Australia in far north Queensland. The reason they're not seen very often is that they are nocturnal, so that means that they only like to come out at night. As the name does suggest, they are a burrowing roach, so they do like to live under the ground, and they use these spikes down their legs to actually help them to dig. They are also great parents. They have five or six little babies down the bottom of their burrow, and they actually take food down and feed them for the first six to 12 months of the baby's life. They also do live for quite a long time. Most cockroaches, they will only live for about a year, but the giant burrowing roach, it can live for up to 12 years. So quite a long time for a cockroach. These guys do have a very strange way of protecting themselves. If we have a look, we can see the head up the top here, but if I turn it around, it does look a little like it has eyes on the bottom there, but they aren't real eyes. They use those to protect themselves by putting their head in the ground and their bottom up in the air if another animal tries to bite them. That does sound a little strange, but if they get a bite to their head, they're not gonna be okay, but a bite on their bottom and they should survive. So it's quite a clever way of protecting themselves. They don't bite, they don't sting, so that is the only way they have to protect themselves. Telling the difference between a male and a female can be quite hard, but with these guys it is very easy. And the way we tell the difference is by looking at the top of their head here. Just above his head he has this dent, that means it is a boy. If we have a look at this one, we can see that there's no dent there, so that means that that one is a girl. Like all cockroaches, these guys are an insect. That means that they do have three parts to their body. So they do have a head at the front, they have that thorax in the middle, and the abdomen is down the back. And like all insects, they do have six legs, three legs on each side. Most cockroaches do have wings, but you can see that these guys, they don't. There's no wings down their back there, so that means that they can't fly. A couple of fun facts about cockroaches, the way they breathe. So we breathe through our mouth or nose, but a cockroach actually breathes through tiny little holes running down the side of their body. And unlike us with two knees, a cockroach, it actually has 18 knees. So I guess now we should give them a ranking. Okay, so for size. Well, they are quite small, but for a roach, they are the largest. So I'm gonna give them a two for size. You can see they don't move fast at all. So I'm gonna give them a one for speed. Being a cockroach, they have no venom, so I'm gonna give them a zero for venom and temperament, they are quite friendly. The worst they're gonna do is maybe let out a hiss if they get a fright, so I'm gonna give them a one for temperament. So that is all we have time for today. To see more of our clips, don't forget to subscribe and give us a like and we'll catch you next time in the treehouse. See you later.